Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always we're joined by top barbecue chef Mr Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video we're going to be doing a, not a side of salmon, a tail of salmon, uh, Asian style. We're going to be smoking it on the new Spirit 2 E310. So Richard, talk us through all the prep we need to do for this dish. Really simple, we've got a tail end of salmon here, quite a large piece, probably about one, one and a quarter, one, about one and a quarter kilos in weight. Uh, could you season that for me with salt and pepper and I'll talk through the rest of the ingredients. So in our dish here, we have some corn flour with water, we have some soy sauce, uh, some Shaoxing rice wine vinegar. It's either going to be Shaoxing or rice wine, depending on the label. Uh, you've got some fresh ginger, some fresh garlic, and that's it. So we're going to season this with salt and pepper. Transfer this to one of our perforated grill baskets. I've just oiled this very lightly, just with some cold pressed rapeseed oil. That will just help the salmon not to stick to the basket. And this salmon does have the skin on. So very simply, thank you very much, good okay. job. That's going to go on there. And then that is ready to go to the barbecue. Let's take this over. We've got our barbecue set up for roasting heat, about 180, 200. Um, we've got our smoker box in. So the smoker box is on the left-hand side above burner tube number one. That's been on for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You can start to see some smoke coming through there already. So what we're going to do is pop the lid down. Middle burner's completely off. We're going to leave that about 10 minutes, then we're going to start to layer up with the, with the um, Asian marinade. So a little bit every now and then, just like painting, just a little bit and often. Right, so let's have a look at our salmon. Nice little bit of smoking colour on the outside. We want to get that smoke on first, that's why we don't bake this to begin with. So now that we've got a nice little bit of smoke into that meat, into the fish, I'm just going to base this with our little Asian mixture here. Oof. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this when you've got laundry on, washing on the line because it would smoke it. And you also, you want to make sure that you try and stand up upwind of this as well, not in the position that I'm in. Because you're getting this right in the face. But anyway, there we go. Nice little bit of a coating over the top. We're going to pop that down and leave that for another five minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll do another baste and we'll check it with the temperature probe. 62 core temperature is where we're aiming for. So we'll just keep an eye on that and keep basting it until it gets there. So this has had another five minutes and we're just doing a second baste. So I'll just let that carry on cooking for a few moments longer. So we've had a second baste, and we're just going to check our salmon here. So we are looking for 62. With smaller pieces, it's a little bit easier. You can check the give just using your fingers, but 61.8, 62. So that is cooked, and I've checked that in the thickest part. So gloves on. Really easy, baking a piece of salmon on the barbecue. Um, there we go. Look at the colour on that. Absolutely gorgeous. So we'll sit that there. Now I've got two forks here, which huh, might be a little <laughs> bit futile because any of our regular viewers will know that uh, Ian doesn't really partake in fish. So um, it looks pretty. Should I put this one down here? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Do. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It smells very nice. And it looks pretty. I've just <laughs> not got to try it. <laughs> yeah. So normally you'd let this. You can should let fish rest a little bit as well, but we just tease that away and just see. That is cooked through and it looks beautiful and succulent. So I'm going to have a taste of this while you... Mm. Oh, you dropped some. Oh my word, that is <laughs> amazing. Mm. So if you'd like to find out the recipe for this dish, mm. visit the website hayesgardenworld.co.uk. It'll be in the blog section of the website. You need you to. <laughs> If you want to find out about any of the equipment we've used, come and see the team here at the barbecue shop at the garden centre. I have double dipped. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to eat it all anyway. I'm going to eat it anyway, so don't leave a comment. <laughs> so all that's left is us to say is thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time.